Right, here's uh, the S2 and the S3, and this is the second video in our series showing you the, um, the S3 in action. Now, what I wanted to show you was just this, basically, and you can see here that uh, there's always an issue with smartphones nowadays that um, the screen goes off when you're perhaps not wanting it to go off. Now, both of these phones are set to a 30-second screen timeout, and I'm going to start reading this lovely article here. Now, the Smart State technology in the S3, uh, which isn't actually enabled as default, but uh, I've now turned on, should use this camera here on the top, the 1.9 megapixel front-facing camera, to detect that my eyes are actually looking at the screen. And you might see a little flash, uh, sort of an eye, show up on the top bar. And that will hopefully keep the screen on on the S3 while the S2 just times out as you can see it has there on the left. So it enables me to continue reading the screen without having to constantly tap it every few seconds to keep it awake. Because now to wake up the S2 I'm going to have to turn it on, unlock the screen, get back into the browser etc etc. So one other thing I wanted to show you while I'm here is something you may have already spotted and that is that screen brightness is quite different now as you can see on the S2 it's quite bright S3 not so much now both have got the same ambient light as you can see here the evening sunset and if we go back to the main screen here and go into settings oops and you can hear some of the uh, I'll talk about those noises in a moment. If we go into display on the S3 and the S2, and we can see, by the way, just to prove I wasn't lying, the screen timeout on the S2, 30 seconds. Screen timeout on the S3, 30 seconds. Just to show that that uh, was the smart stay uh, working. Now the brightness, brightness, and don't ask me why the OK button is in a different place. I don't know, just to keep you on your toes, perhaps Android is doing that. Um, automatic brightness on both handsets, but it's noticeably brighter. I know there might be different screen technology, yada, 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 but um, the brightness is definitely different. Now, I've tried it with, you can have screen mode, and here, let's have a look at the screen mode on the S2. Standard and standard, just to show you that that's, the same as well so the screen um, setting is the same on both so I'm not entirely sure why the S2 is a hell of a lot brighter on its automatic setting but uh, it's still um, the S3 I would maybe like to um, have it a little bit brighter on its auto setting rather than having to go into the manual setting and tweak it manually and I've just looked away from the S3 so it's got bored and shut down so um, the S3 then just to show you the home screen again this is the unlock screen if you want to get directly into an app you sort of press it first and then drag off the screen it goes directly into the browser if I just kind of want to get into a camera shot I go directly in like that and we're directly into the camera um, obviously you can see the screen lock it's a nice watery effect or it would be if we were in it there we go I can touch it and sort of play with that very nice the main unlock screen here which we'll get to there we go rather the main home screen here full of widgets sort of Android uh, normal Android fair you can see the uh, time here and the weather forecast you can scroll around here have a look at the video hub and the other Samsung uh, widgets that have been added in here there's quite a lot of uh, space for you to add in your own apps We've got all share <coughs> which is their way of talking about dlna which is where you can beam media to connected devices over wi-fi We've got chat on a calculator which of course every smartphone has to have for your downloads so you can see them all in one place dropbox and fm radio the flipboard which is uh, sort of a news reader which has been already extracted out of this rom and uh, spread around the internet latitude 
for keeping track on friends and family and where they are uh, the internet browser which we've already seen a gallery of pictures um, Samsung apps the S voice which we will cover in another video and uh, the S planner playbooks video hub talk settings blah 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 blah, blah. there's lots of uh, widgets on here and of course you can go into your um, uh, Google Play it was called the Android Market at one time and you can download extra applications to your heart's content got loads of widgets that is actually on an extra tab here at the top so you can you can get all your widgets in one place so you can choose a widget that you would like to have on your main screen you can of course have different size widgets and move them around to your heart's content got the yes memo which we saw a lot of on the um, Galaxy Note and software update which it obviously keeps you up to date um, news finance there's loads and loads of widgets to choose from here a big stack there's absolutely no latency or um, sort of choppiness about this at all the quad core CPU works fantastically well now that's it for this particular video about the uh, smart stay I'm going to show you a bit more about the S voice in the next video so keep an eye out for that